Hello again, boys and girls. I hope all is well this week. Welcome to another week of writing with Miss Gianetti. This week, we are going back into the archives to find a scholastic news, all the way back to September 2nd, 2019. This was at the beginning of third grade, right when you started third grade. That seems like a long time ago. It's called, the name of the issue is, I Climbed This Volcano. Our objective this week, I will be able to write an informative paragraph. Informative, you're going to give information. The question, well, it's not really a question. Your assignment is, name three ways Montana, that's the girl's name, prepared in order to reach her goal of climbing to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro with her mom. The title of the article is, Go For It. The subtitle is, a new school year means working toward new goals. This kid mountain climber shares some secrets to success. This is when I'm gonna ask you to go back into your archives and find the article, September 2nd, 2019 issue, and you are going to read and or listen to the article, maybe a couple of times, and then we are going to do our writing assignment. So go ahead and press pause now. All right, here's our writing organizer. The same one we use all the time. You have an opening and a closing. The opening, turn the question around. The closing is turn the question around in a different way. We're using transition words, finding evidence, and explaining. Uh, this week, the PowerPoint, um, hopefully it turns out really well, but we'll see. All right. Name three ways Montana prepared in order to reach her goal of climbing to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro with her mom. Turn the question around. How can I turn the question around for our opening? Montana made many preparations in order to reach her goal of climbing to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro with her mom. That's a really good sentence. Now, transition word. There it is. First, <clears throat> find evidence. Where do I find evidence? I go back into the article. Here is our evidence. They practiced hiking I'm sorry, they practiced hiking on hills near their home. So I take that and I turn that into a sentence. She and her mom practiced hiking on hills near their home. My explanation, back into the article. So this was a little different because there wasn't really an explanation for hiking near their home. So we just took that they knew it was important to be prepared. This is how they prepared. So that is going to be my evidence, my um, explanation. They knew it was important to be prepared. So together this is, first, she and her mom practiced hiking on hills near their home. They knew it was important to be prepared. Now I need another transition word for my second evidence. In addition, good transition word. Where do I find my evidence? Back in the article. They did research. That is another way she prepared. So I put in addition, she and her mom did research. So now we need to explain that. My explanation, back into the article. They discovered that they had to be ready for all kinds of weather. So through their research, they discovered they had to be ready for all kinds of weather. So that's what I write for my explanation. They discovered they had to be ready for all kinds of weather. Another transition word, this is my third piece of evidence. A final example, so transition word first, second, in addition, and my last transition word, a final example. Now I need to find evidence, I go back into the article. So they planned a route that would let them go slow. All right, 
A final example, and I added this just because it sounded better. A final example of how Montana and her mom prepared is that they planned a route that would allow them to slowly climb the mountain. I'm kind of careful to put these words, um, to put the author's words into my own words. I don't want to copy exactly what the author wrote. That's called plagiarism, and you'll learn more about that as you get older, but you can't do it. Explanation. It starts up here. The Kennys also learned that climbers can get altitude sickness. This illness can be caused by climbing very high too quickly. So again, I put that into my own words. They didn't want to get altitude sickness by climbing too high too quick. Turn the question around a different way. This is for my closing. So remember, the um, question was, and it's not really a question, it's the assignment, what I'm looking for. Name three ways Montana prepared in order to reach her goal of climbing to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro with her mom. So my closing is going to be to turn the question around, but in a different way. So the closing is, by making these preparations, Montana was able to reach her goal of climbing to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro with her mom. So I've completed my writing organizer, but it's not a paragraph yet. I need to take the information from the organizer and put it into a paragraph. So I just begin at the beginning and take my opening and write, Montana made many preparations in order to reach her goal of climbing to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro with her mom. So I just continue taking the information from the organizer and writing. First, she and her mom practiced hiking on hills near their home. They knew it was important to be prepared. In addition, she and her mom did research. They discovered they had to be ready for all kinds of weather. A final example of how Montana and her mom prepared is that they planned a route that would allow them to slowly climb the mountain. They didn't want to get altitude sickness by climbing too high too quick. By making these preparations, Montana was able to reach her goal of climbing to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro with her mom. So here is my paragraph. When you write it or type it, it will look like this. Now your assignment for this week are the close reading questions that go with the same article. The directions say, refer to this week's cover story, Go For It, to respond to the questions below. Reread the article to find details that support your answers. Remember to write in complete sentences. I have it highlighted. Not only are you writing in complete sentences, but every sentence will begin with a capital and every sentence will end with a period. Telling sentences end with periods and your sentences are going to be telling us to answer the question. Question one, what does the author mean when she says, Montana Kenny beat the odds. How do you know? Turn the question around, find your evidence and explain. Number two, what is the section be prepared mostly about? And if you remember from last time we did the um, scholastic news, there could be two answers to this question. I'm not saying there is and I'm not saying there isn't. I'm just saying that there have been in the past. Question three, what is the purpose of the sidebar? Meet some other goal getters. And in our last Scholastic News, we talked all about text features. Hopefully you watch that video and you know all about text features. Okay, turn the question around, find evidence, explain. Now this slide says happy writing because I want you to enjoy writing and have fun. Okay, writing is a great way to express yourself and it's also a great way to show everybody how much you know. All right, until next time, I miss you and I'll see you later.